Alright guys, so I'm making a review for you on a cooler from Icy Tech. Um, here you go, this is it. It's 170 quarts. Um, I shot an elk in Wyoming, my first elk, and I had it processed, got it all packaged up, and I fit my entire elk in this cooler plus the cape to bring home. I filled it up with some dry ice on the bottom and then I put a little ice on top of that, just regular ice. Then I put the meat on top of the ice and the cape on top of the ice. And I packaged that up on a Monday night. It is now Thursday morning, about 10 o'clock. So I had a long two day drive. Uh, so we're gonna open it up and show you how it looks. However, last night I did drop off the cape at my taxidermist. So I opened it up for about, you know, just a few seconds to get the cape out. Um, but we'll, we'll show you that everything is still cool, uh, my cape was still frozen, so let's open it up and show you. So this cooler has two rubber latches um, that stays in place, and you see the one here on the left. We'll pan over and you can see the one right there on the right. Really simple to use, and it's got a little handle in the middle that you lift it up with, and a place to lock it. Now on both sides, you've got a handle that is uh, rope and it's got a little plastic piece so that you can uh, hold on to it. Makes the holding a little bit easier and the rope doesn't tear. So let's pop this bad boy open. Now as you can see I packaged my meat so it wouldn't get wet but we still have ice. I don't believe there's any water in here whatsoever. There's the bottom, there's no water in here. So it's kept everything cold, kept the ice frozen still. Meat's still packaged up and hard. That just tells you how good it's kept it since Monday, so. All right, so I lifted out the bags of the meat and as you can see it's nothing but ice still in the bottom of the cooler so this cooler like I said is from Icy Tech and it works just as good as your Yeti cooler or the Grizzly coolers or Orca coolers you name it. Alright so what I'm going to show you now is I'm going to dump the cooler with all the ice in it and uh, show you that it's all still frozen um, and that there's like no water period so check it out. There you can see there's no water, period. You see all the ice? Still frozen solid. Now, our bags of dry ice are gone, but that's what we wanted. The regular ice kept the, kept the dry ice cold, and the Icy Tech cooler did the job of keeping all my meat frozen for about three days, so it's perfect for what I needed it. Just proves that it there does you have work. it. There is proof that this cooler works. It keeps the ice cold long enough for a three day trip across the United States if need be. Um, or you can do like I did and I had to purchase a freezer so I left the meat in the cooler uh, overnight and let our freezer turn on and get cold. So check out Icy Tech Coolers at hpcoolers.com they got a bunch of different sizes and a bunch of different colors. So mine was green, but you can pick out all different colors. Uh, get on there, check them out, see what you like. Get a cooler that works for you. And I'm telling you, it does work. I just proved to you I came from Wyoming. I'm all the way back in Tennessee now. 
So it works. Keep everything cool. Check them out. HBCoolers.com. Icy Tech.